that is how we fight a war. <laughs> Greetings, mortals. I am, as always, the Fallen Shogun, and welcome back to Retro Pixel Castles, the retroest, pixeliest castle you'll never see. Cause they're technically not castles yet. It's a good village, though. So we're still in. We're still building. We've got a lot of stuff to do. We need to expand the farms quite badly. Really, really badly. Get up there. Yeah, there we go. To do that, expand the farms further down. And you know, without the stupid bit here and there. So as you can see, we now have a loop. It's not a good loop, but it's a loop. This loop exists purely because I need extra farming. And I'm obviously going to expand this way, I think. Remove this. Mm. This way? We're going to expand this way. Add more housing over here. Where are they going? Okay, they're doing the wall. Good. So the expansion is continuing. We're actually, actually getting refined cryolithium. I just call it the soul shards. We're getting refined soul shards. Yeah, I like that. It rolls off the tongue much better. Um, okay, so that means we can now start doing this. Let's add a firebolt tower there and there. We keep on expanding the tower. So, Colette's pi another pilot's been born. Perfect. So, we're going to get firebolt towers operational, but what we really, really need is a battery of essence collectors. Which will be in this section here. That's already in the wrong place. I hate myself. So we're actually going to have them. Let's see. I should just have them here with a gap around the edge. So these are going to be my power storage area. I'm obviously going to seal it off eventually. But right now it's going to see if I leave a gap there. Gap there, at least two at the bottom. That doesn't work. Okay, so let's go to that, go to that. Go there. And there. That doesn't leave a gap either. That's annoying. I can't technically get two of them. Do that, then have a gap at the bottom. I'm going to have to have like, um, hmm. See this? Annoying. But I could just do this. A massive battery. There we go. So we have it like this. So we're going to have a lot of these, obviously. I'm actually going to seal them off with a bigger wall. Like this, which I'm actually going to up in the uh, situation right now. There we go. There we go. So these are all going to get pushed up immensely because I need these done. I need this wall ready. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, six. There'll be 24 of these. That's going to be insane. Obviously, I'm not going to actually have that much, but it needs to be done. Needs to be done. Then we're just going to have a golem battery and things. This farm is going to be expanded, of course. The walls are going to be expanded. Everything is slowly being expanded to what we need it to be. A death-defying, devastating doomsday city or something. How are we doing here for this stone, anyway? Eh, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Okay, now that I know this is actually okay, I'm going to cancel all of these. Alright, they'll get built. I don't really want them to be built just yet. So it's going to have this like this, so we know how big it's going to be. And the walls will get built, and the outside will get built. We'll actually have another fortified position. Which will be perfect. And that's also just start, you know, throwing wood down here. So I'm going to be destroying this entire forest over here. Then we have another housing area over here. And just keep on expanding that way. The more housing, the better. We do, of course, need to try and expand the food areas, because the food areas are pretty tiny. That's a ghost. I clicked on the spectre. Got ya. Go here. Good, you can just die. So yeah, we're just slowly expanding everything we have. 
because we definitely need to get this out. Actually, here's a problem. Okay, the enemy can actually path round that way, so they won't actually get stuck. That's perfect. If the enemy gets stuck, we're in trouble. And next to these areas, I'm actually going to have a, another golem plantation. That's why I'm going to grow my golems. Get enough golems, we can hold off forever. Level 4, you can move with me, come with me, and you'll see a world of pure devastation. Let's get some dissolve. Okay, let's also start recollecting it. Let's crystal. Yep, there we go. It's actually getting plenty of Quilithium, which obviously would be put inside these if they actually existed, but they don't yet. Yet. Let's actually have another one of these guys in here. Let's get a load of people making this. And we actually need this wall to be sealed off here as well, to be fair. Let's just have a regular wall here. Actually, that's just... I've been done. How do I expand? What's, oh, the farm's been done. Okay, so we're going to pause the farm. But it's going to start getting used. You need to move. Come with me. Okay, so I've got plenty of people moving about. This needs wood to, along here to be sealed off. And we're going to do that now. There we go. Slowly seal off everything. Doesn't matter if it doesn't look the same right now, actually, it's sealed off for now. I can change it when it's done. Well, maybe. We'll see. Okay, all the farmers are now over here. Of course they are. Food's still a major issue. Actually, sod it. We're going to do this and actually have three people working in it. There we go. So we are expanding everything. Okay, another spectre. They're becoming fun, aren't they? Oh, yes. Hold good old spectre gadget. Melt you down, melt you down. You could just die. There's three people here, not sure what to do. Just hanging out, having fun. Let's dissolve that building. That's actually also there and there, get rid of that. We can change the wall later. As you can see, we are still trying to force a defensive wall. Of course, it's going to take absolutely bloody ages. Let's cancel it, actually. We'll do that when we have the time. For now, wood. There you go. Okay, that's nearly done. Every little thing is gonna be alright, encased in a massive city of doom and other things. Still, obviously, problems around the back here, but yeah, that's fine. We're only occasionally taking damage now. <sighs> Bloody hell. How's the food doing? Okay, all the tents are now full. Just these two to be done. Good, food is actually becoming a beautiful, beautiful non-problem. That was meant to be at the very beginning, but you know. As long as things are getting better, what are you doing? Good, good, good. Wood is on its way. Not sure why I said it that way, but whatever. We're going with it. We're going with it. food here is completely done as you can tell. This wall is nowhere near completed. This will be an issue. Stop walking away to admire your work. What I really, really need to do is finish this off even slightly. Once this wall is done, nothing should be able to get through to the bottom. We'll have to go round here. I mean, obviously there's still a hole up here, but yeah, right now we need it sealed heavily. 
Even if bits of it are being used with trees, bits of it are, you know, actual walls, other bits of people standing there pointing and going, no. Come with me. There you go. Okay, that's still going up the Firebolt Tower. Melt that down, melt that down. Our oh, people are so happy there's continuous sex happening. One big massive orgy somewhere in the middle, I imagine. Oh, and there comes the rain. All the fires I started will now be, be being put out. Be, be being put out. I sound insane. In this game, being an arsonist does pay. Except when it rains. In which case, you're screwed! Yay! Okay, that wall is now done, mostly. So as you can see, the outer wall is nearly there. Obviously the same thing as always, it's not 100% complete. But in this grand scheme of things, we need a wall rather than, you know, a finished wall. We need something. Even a bloody fence would be useful. Because the enemy will start coming and there's nothing defending the south. See, here comes a headless. Useless, but it's still a headless. It's the beginning of the end. Let's put you here. Okay, looks to me like there's only a couple of holes left I need to do. There's a zombie punching that. Good on you. Well, it's a headless. It's technically a zombie, just, you know, with less head. So how are we doing up north? The tower is getting there. Good, that one's basically there as well, just need lots of wood and stone. Food will still be pouring in all the time, the farmers down here are not doing anything. How are we doing here? 24, 24, good, we're finally filling the storages. We actually have two storages here which will also get filled. Each housing area now gets its own storage area as, long as, as well as the food areas. Because otherwise, you know, we'll have problems. I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's every single one of them. We've officially sealed off the edge. Apart from this bottom area, which will be done in a second. So there's food and stuff moving absolutely everywhere right now, which is perfect. Another shack's gone up. So now we actually have real houses, rather than just tents. Not the biggest of houses you'll ever see, but they are at the beginning of houses. Something died up here, good. Another spectre went down. We still obviously have holes here, and they're like this bit. Once the builders actually stop building, I let them actually clear out pieces of the walls, because we, my god, we need to get rid of these holes. Okay, he's doing that, he's doing that. Do so they're clearing this area out, which is annoying. Just not clearing out any other areas. You know, the areas I'm using. Let's use a dissolve. Okay, he's doing that. The essence collectors will start going up soon as well. That's good. Three pieces of wall have been done. Okay, so they're working on that. This area will be worked on as well. Good. The southern wall is ready. Oh look, a fire elemental. I haven't seen any of those for a while. Can't even burn down the enemy buildings anymore. Oh god. But I found where the combat is, I guess. Winter will arrive in three days. How are we doing food-wise? How's storage looking? Naught. So eight. Oh, it's eight. Good! We have plenty of storage areas now. Food is actually becoming useful for a change, rather than the way it was before when it wasn't useful and everyone was dying of starvation nearly. The essence collector's going up. There is a... Ah! You? No. Financials should take damage in the rain. They really should. Okay, so the wall is done on the bottom, just not done this bit here. Obviously they're finishing off the corners. 
So what I'm going to do now while I'm waiting for them is we're just going to drop stuff on this. There we go. If I can get a single essence collector up, I'll be quite happy. And if I can't, I can't. There we go. Okay, it looks like that's actually mostly done as they're throwing the rest of the stone themselves at it. Perfect. Which means they're going to go to the next one. Good. Let's just, you know, throw some of this at it. So once all this wall's been done down here, they'll start working on this, I imagine. But yeah, all my builders are currently heavily engaged doing things. Let's actually put another two farmers onto here. We now have 30 odd farmers, nearly. That's a third of our workforce farming. A third of the people who live here are working on the farms to feed everyone else. It's a lot of people. It's an awful lot of people. But what do I know? I'm merely the guy who's telling them what to do and then killing them if they don't do it. Gonna grab random pieces of stone now. There we go. So the golems are still out in force. They're dying, but they're out in force. This is nearly done. There'll be one piece of crystal on its way somewhere, I feel. And if not, I'm gonna drop a piece on it anyway. There it is, there's the piece of crystal. Okay, so one of my essence collectors is actually done. That is perfect. You know, not the be all and end all, but it's a good bloody start. Once that is done, we can start, you know, pumping it out even more, I guess. It's not going to be that too useful until I'm able to um, start getting this into it. The Quilithium is really heavily used for these things. Let's see, let's just do that, that, and... Uh... One. There, I guess. So I'll open up a hole so the people in the Quilithium place can actually start, you know, pumping it full of stuff. Each one of those will give me souls. Trapped souls, of course. The only kind of soul which is really tasty, I guess. I oh, know, it wasn't well thought through. Now I'm going to go to the bottom and look at the walls. Wood wall. That's up all the walls. Up all the sturdy walls. There we go. So all the walls now should be done. Hopefully. And once they are, everything is going to be alright. Hmm. But I think we're doing fine. I think this literally is the fine point. I don't think we can actually be defeated now. Unless we just have too many people and starve to death. As you can see, that is now... They are now taking the Quilithium, the stored souls, directly to it. Let's actually up this. You need an extra person for somewhere. Hmm. Three there. Three there. That's fine. They're both needed right now. The walls are fully going up, as you can tell, because I've hooked them. Oh, God, there's a spectre in the damn farm again. Come here. Go here. Then the firebolt tower should hopefully go up, and then we'll have more powerful magical defences. So the now has four Quilithium, it's slowly converting that into actual souls and use, pumping it out to everything else. Which right now is the golems. We're quite low on the wood golems, but we've got plenty of stone golems. Good, good, good. As you can see, they're taking loads of it into it. This will be perfect. Keep on getting those crystals. There we go. So these guys are heavily pouring into this one now. Because I'm always going to be needing magic, this is actually just a stopgap. I'll be needing a lot more, a lot often. So I need these to kill the damn things here. Come on. The fact that they're not killing them is still slightly annoying. See how we're doing. 
As you can see, the village is now getting to the point where it can't actually fit on the screen. The housing here, the farming here, the farming expansion, the magic batteries, the refineries, the uh, armories basically. Up here you have the stone cutting. Doesn't even fit on the map that part. I mean, you actually have the defensive positions, which I'm going to expand that way. So we're going well, we're going strong, and everyone is going to die. We have continuous cryolithium being stored here. Good. Let's actually put another one there. So now four people working that. We have a fire elemental punching a farmer. The walls are still going up. Bloody hell. The walls are always going up. Once that is done, it should solve a lot of our issues from the south. Not all of them, just a lot of them. Because we still need to clear this bloody forest. As you may have noticed, I haven't actually done anything to my defences in quite a while. It's mainly been trying to expand my production. So I think we've actually cracked defences. You can go there, and you can go there. There we go. Melt you down. So after this wall is done, we're actually going to go up there and activate the other stone golem combobulator. Get some more golems. Do 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 do. So we're going to build this wall as well. Once that is done, we can unseal this area. In fact, we're going to do it now anyway. Go there and there. So that should mean people will start coming into this area. Of course, right now, obviously, every area is open. But yeah, okay, the bottom area is now sealed. Which means we now have a brand new area. Which I'm about to finally seal off. There we go. So right now there is no way into this area. Now. There we go. We have a brand new southern area which is completely defended. Ha! Huh, and he's stuck. Okay, so we need to, um, yeah. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. So we now have mana batteries down here. We have a brand new farm area. You can actually get destroyed. This is how the Empire rises, people. We also need to, you know, destroy this area. Let's not get rid of that yet, but yeah, we need to do this and clear this area out. So once that area is gone, we'll have another area for a farm. We now have five farms. Someone told me that each farm can hold an average 20 people for food. But my estimations, each guy needs about four food a day. Because you need four, three to four food a day on average, and then when they're working, they require even more food. When they're pregnant, they require more food on top of that. So a pregnant worker requires a lot. So on average, five food a day for winter, let's say, so that's 20 food per person, and I have 90 people, which means I need about 1,800 food. Winter's going to kill me. I mean, I'm probably really out of my way with that kind of um, estimation, but I always like going overkill. But the fact is, these guys are devouring just enough food, but my farmers aren't even able to fill the food storages up. But yeah, I'm aiming for about, you know, a couple of thousand food, just to make sure. Do that, and that, and that. The more food storage is the merrier. Okay, so we have like a hundred odd food stored safely away. We've sort of got a hole over here, annoyingly. But we can deal with that, to be fair. We 
But yeah, we can deal with that. And like I say, it's annoying, but it's not a major issue. Let's unpause you. There we go. So, another golem place will be up and running. This is still continuously powering. This has got plenty of resources coming in. Good. And now we're just going to make another essence collector. Oh, we actually need real stone. Never mind. There we go. Let's go and dissolve some stuff. One, two, three. Dissolve all that crystal. So we've got a lot of effects going on right now. We have mana going straight to that. Because the mana is obviously going to go to the nearest thing, which right now is the golem combobulators. All of them need heavy powering up. We have four of them, three of them, four of them, five of them. Okay, we're getting plenty of mana now. This is actually really helping out. In fact, we've actually got ten of these stored away. Can only carry ten. Continuously pumping out extra mana. And obviously any time over here anything dies, it'll store that mana as well. So yes, the batteries are working. And food is continuously pouring out now. We might even survive winter with this many bloody people. They're everywhere. It's like a swarm. It's like a plague. How's the woodcutting going on? I really need to let this stuff grow back. I really do. As you can see, I've defrosted literally everything. I get a firebolt tower. Oh, we've got a firebolt tower. It's actually complete up here. Perfect. Knights arrived. Okay, so there's no one outside right now. Good, there is literally no one outside right now. The defences are in place. Another essence collector is getting powered up. Good. This is still heavily damaged. Doesn't matter. We're getting more food storages being built. I'm actually going to pause these two. I really need this hole completed. Okay, so the stone golem combobulator will be up and running soon. That's got enough for a single shot. You can die. Thank you. So I can heal. Thank you. There we go. So. Yeah, listen, look at this. They really have removed all of this stone. My god. That's not good you. There we go. So, yeah. This is insane. We're actually going to make an entirely new area for our people. In fact, if we just can't go in this way, we can just take the, the bloody towers that direction. Well, that was my only shot with the tower. I did quite a lot of damage. There you go. That's what we're going to get mainly at the moment until things are finished. The stone golem combobulator is done. We now have even greater defences. It will be done. I hope and finish. Because that's done in a second. We now have two of these continuously powering the front line because these guys are dropping an awful lot of crystal on it. We actually need a second one of these. Good. That is very good. Was not expecting to have that problem already, but the fact that we have a problem where we're making too much crystal is amazingly good. That's right, I'm using the word good a lot. It doesn't happen that often. Especially another one of these here, which means these need to be destroyed. Which means we actually need more of these. Perfect. There we go. So we actually can destroy this. Once this is done, this will be perfect. Never had this problem at all before. This is amazing. The world is actually finally working for me rather than against me. That is going to end up inside my base. You go here. Wow. That is a lot of death. Let's dissolve it. There we go. Look at all those lovely souls. So a lot of them are going to here to power up the golems. 
but my god, look at this. That is how we fight a war. That is how we fight this war today. But anyway, I have been the Fallen Shogun. If you enjoyed this as always, lightning strike, comment, favourite and subscribe. If you subscribe, you become part of the Fallen. You know when new videos come out. And at the end of the last battle, I will, of course, see you in Valhalla. Ciao for now, people. Bye-bye, lightning strike. Go in my horde of darkness. It's actually really impressive watching them move. Look at that, kicking up dust plumes. Strike copies. Pull back. Order confirmed. Assault. Assault. There we go. There we go. Kill them all. Lots of metal. Good. Hmm. Okay, so I don't see a fissure anywhere. That's a dig for it. Oh, there it is. There's the fissure. That rift there will get us to the next level. Of course, we need to research this because our people, after surviving, don't have the ability to do that.